Hey everyone, welcome to Off Grid Rooster. I'm Rooster, and I want to show you the inside of this. Uh, it's going to be my bedroom. This is the only thing that's going to be here. I have my bed, uh, some of the necessities. Uh, the trailer is going to be turned into a kitchen, and uh, the cat will be with me here. Uh, just to show you, uh, it's a uh, now insulated i have uh uh yeah you know the uh boards to go on top i just have to get them and put them in the in this area here um i have a heater for the winter time i'm gonna put a uh, window up here and see to give uh, fresh air because it's hot in here now because the sun is shining and uh, it's coming along it's it's coming along slowly uh, I have some tiles that I was able to acquire this place came wired up with the box and everything I just have to put um, insulation in this corner here I'll do that in a, in a little while and up here. But I have everything to start hooking up lights, uh, switches. Uh, I have a little panel box here. Let me see if I can open this up. This came the way it is, what, you, what I'm showing you now in this video. So... Just a little circuit breaker box. I'm gonna hook up my solar panels and everything. I'm upgrading the solar panels. It's gonna go from this, how do you call it? This structure, my bedroom. I'm gonna start referring it to my bedroom. Um, I'm gonna put um, more that I was able to uh, barter for. Um, it's a uh, marble white floors put in here make it a lot easier she gave me the glue um so and the grout so i'll be able to do that but as you can see let me get off of this gonna jump down whoop yeah here we go all right the dogs are now outside but uh it's coming along. I took the ladder that I had on the trailer and I put it here so I could climb up and do what I have to do, uh, clean it up. I have a water container here and the gutter system is gonna come from this side all the way across, cut across and then go right in here. So I'll have water in here because what I'm going to do is run the pipes underneath here to this side all the way across here and build a bathroom with a shower. The ones, the one that you saw in my previous videos, which I was going to build uh, right over there is going to be just the bathroom is going to be right on that side so i changed my plans according to how i i feel and what's going to work out for me best and that area right there is just going to be for the feed the hay so i could have everything centralized in this area for the dogs the goats the chickens and uh it's coming along these right here i'm upgrading them these are 100 panels of solar panels i have six here that are 270 panels and then i have lithium batteries about 16 or 18 lithium batteries that i'm going to attach to it and i'm going to put it on the side in a separate uh, small little structure so it gets enough 
ventilation. I'm going to insulate it. And the panels will be going up on top, facing down. So it can create a shade uh, to the door and this front. Because this is where the sun comes up. And it comes up this way and shines right in. And this that's why it gets hot all the time. In the summertime, it'll be even hotter. So I'll have a little shade structure with water coming down at the same time. The bathroom on this side here. It's a plan. Again, it might change again, but uh, it's coming along. I have to think things out thoroughly because situations change. And I have to incorporate the wind speed, the high wind speed. The type of dirt that I have, uh, I have to. What am I going to anchor down? I still have to put cement down on the bottom here. I'm going to dig and put rebar and attach everything to those uh, railroad ties. I have uh, four by fours going across. I mean, yeah, four by fours going across. So they go all across, one here, one in the middle, and one on the other side. Uh, to stabilize it, if I don't concrete it in, what I'm going to do is strap it in. I'm going to strap it uh, with uh, thick wire, and then I'll concrete it. It'll make it a lot easier, because if not, what I have to do is lift the whole unit up, remove the cinder blocks, dig a hole... Put concrete and then secure it with the concrete and then do it that way what I'm gonna do is just gonna get uh, like straps that they have for RVs I mean not RVs uh, uh, trailers uh, mobile homes but I'm gonna devise one with heavy duty like the telephone wires for telephone poles that they have holding those poles up that resist the wind well I'm going to do on each corner I'm going to come out through here holding the structure in right by the cinder blocks and then the wire is going to go in this way I'll make a hole here put the concrete so if the wind blows as hard as it sometimes does it will not tip over on any, any side that's the theory it should work in theory uh, and so far everything that I've been putting up has been holding up very well so there's a lot of ways of doing things you just have to find the right way to do your thing your build in your area with the type of dirt and the type of things that you have you have to think outside the box you know to get a point A from point A to point B Everybody has a different idea. My idea is not always uh, the way other people think, but I get it done. And then once it's done and they look at it, they say, well, I never knew that I could do something like that. Try it. Just try it. You know, don't put, don't risk your life to try something that's it's, uh, sketchy. You know, uh, use common sense. You know, you know your animals are coming out here, your wild animals. I know that they come here. I see footprints every day. My dogs alert me. And uh, I just adjust. And I wait until I get rain to see where the water goes. And then I continue. That's why it takes me so long to finish a project. And that's why I have like seven projects going on at the same time. Uh, I'm waiting for at least a half inch rain to come down and it'll soak up in the dirt, flatten it out, and then I could see where uh, the water accumulates and where it flows. Because doing it by eye is easy, but the ground is harder in some places and soft in others. For example, this is curved going out that way to take it away from my adobe house that I'm going to build right here. That's why I made this berm, which is going to be a garden inside it. 
And the water, when it comes from this side, that's the north side, northeast side. Uh, no, yeah, northeast side. The water comes up and then comes down. Comes through here, and it's going to turn and go to those bushes all the way back there. So it'll bypass this. There'll still be some water in that area, but I'm doing a trench. I'm doing a, a system to divert. I might do a concrete on the bottom and then start stacking my bags up of adobe so it doesn't go right through the house and wet everything up and then it messes everything that I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, but when I said about it looks even, I run over it with my, uh, my bus and it's perfect the way it is. There's some dips, like there's dip right here. There's another dip back there. So it'll accumulate. I have to see where it goes. Now, on this side, the soil is really soft. Now watch my feet. If I try... I could step on it and it's just, I call it puffy dirt. It just blows up like dust. Like this area right here. It's all soft, very soft. So what I've encountered before, that soft dirt, you can see my footprints here. That soft dirt, there's a like a, a divot going down it goes down and then it comes back up it looks even now but it's not that's not the case that's why i can't do anything until i see where the water flows it takes time i gotta work with god i got i have to work with uh, uh patience because if i rush it and then something collapses falls and i get hurt you know i'm here by myself i've got ways uh you know radios and stuff like that but you can see the uh turn on this from this 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 view right here it just turns right in now what i'm also incorporating with this turn is that the water doesn't flow always all into the dog pen because then they get it that's why i put the concrete i put that wall in the front to divert it off and uh it should work. I mean, it's worked on other projects that I've done. And then uh, later on down the line, after I get the structures built, I'll start with the on uh, the inside of the pallets. I'm going to start here. I'm going to do the, uh, a test on a wall one by one. See how it works out. You'll get to see it on my videos. And then I'll go to the goat pen and do the same thing on those pallets and that way I get proficient on doing the adobe bags for my house because my house the way I want to build it is a dome it's going to be 40 foot in diameter and so I have to do a lot of mathematical work to make sure that my walls, which are gonna be 12 inches thick, I've gotta buy like uh, 3,000, maybe 4,000 bags to fill up with the dirt that I dig from the pond. That's what I'm using, and then I have to get straw. I've gotta get Portland cement, just mix a little bit of Portland cement there with the straw. My dirt, it has clay, it has uh, sand it has very small rocks, uh, caliche and bentonite. And when I mix this dirt up the way it is, what you see on the ground with water, it hardens up as a rock. And it stays like a rock, but if you step on it hard enough, it crumbles. So that's why the Portland cement and the straw comes into play. The straw acts as a rebarb. Not using bag uh, to put it in. I'm using a form made out of wood, which are the pallets. So there's 
plenty of ways to get something done. You could have fun having uh, an adobe house. You could build walls, which I'm planning to build walls. I like half walls to make it, to make this place uh, pleasant to the eye. It's going to be artistic by the time I finish. It's going to take me a long time to do this. So this is, even though there's a lot that's going on and a lot that I've I have accomplished, I have a long way to go. What I'm trying to do is get the necessities to continue. I started with the animals for food. I'll always have food. I'll have my chickens, my eggs, the goats, goat meat. Uh, my protectors are my dogs. I'm trying to see if I could uh, rehome some of the puppies because the one thing I can't do is uh, handle uh, or have 10 dogs at one time. Uh, I could, I'll go up to about four or five, but not 10 dogs. Uh, the other day at the Dutch oven, I was able to rehome two of them. One lady wanted to take it, but she has cats. And she says she wants a dog, but she doesn't know how the cats will accept them. So I told her, if you don't feel that you're comfortable with it, and you, she has, I think, about 15 cats. She loves cats, but she wanted something to help her guard her place. And I told her, just return the dog back and I'll find it a new home. And she said, yeah, that is fine. Give me about a week so I can see how the cats uh, act towards the, uh, the dog. Hopefully it'll work out. I don't think so. That's too many cats. My cat works well with the dogs. The dogs play wrestle with her she wrestles with the cats with all my dogs they sleep together because i started her as a kitten not a full-grown cat that wanders on the on the ground she's an indoor cat she's been an indoor cat with my dogs so uh it works it's working it's working slowly i have to fix the back the back, since I'm centralizing everything in this area, this is where uh, the greenhouse is going to go on this side in the back of the uh, truck right here. So I can grow food. I could grow vegetables, potatoes, and not worry about having uh, the animals eating it, the wild animals eating it. It, ta it takes time. It's in my head. I have plans. I've drawn it out on paper. But uh, once you get it going, once I get it going, uh, it might change. So far, it looks good. The outdoors right here, this whole area is going to be my living room. The outside is going to be my living room. That's going to be my TV, the view, the stars. Uh, so I can sit down and enjoy life. I'm enjoying life doing this, but I have a, a long way to go. That's why I push myself so hard to keep moving forward. Because once I give up, my body will give up. That's the way I feel. The older you get, uh, you know, my mind says I'm 25. And then the other part of my mind says, you're an idiot for thinking your body is 25. You're really 80. <laughs> so uh, I saw that on a, a little meme. On uh, I think it was Facebook at one time. That was a while back. If I find it, I'll post that. But uh, it's working. The pond will be worked on soon again. I'm going to start digging again. I'm just waiting for it to stay cool for a while. I'd rather work in the cold weather digging that up with a uh, shovel, pickaxe, put them in buckets, and moving the dirt to where I want it. So everything depends on what God want, lets me do.
you guys please like subscribe 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 check out my pages my uh cash app my uh amazon i repeat it all the time uh if you can do anything i would appreciate it the people that have been helping me out through here let me tell you if it weren't for them it'll take a longer time it's about materials it's not about me doing the work because i'm here i'm just i have to slow up to wait till i get uh the money or the materials or the power tools that i need to complete this job if once i get this fence done for the dogs once i get the fence done for the dogs It'll start moving a lot faster because then I could go to where the dogs are right now outside and fix it up for the chickens. Move the chickens from where they're at. There, the dogs come to their dog pen. They'll have more room to run, a little bit more exercise. And I usually let them out while I'm here. You can see Isa right there. She's running around. No, that's Luna, and then Isa is all the way in the back. They hunt together. They look for uh, meat, though they eat a lot. Hold on, let me call her up. Come. Luna, Isa, come. Good girl, Isa. She is my number one. That's my number two. And they follow and they, they stay around me at all times. So, again, uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to be posting a lot of shorts to let you know where I'm at with my projects. There's a road runner right behind that bush right there. You can see it. He's coming out. He's right there. You'll see him move. There he goes. He's right there walking. He's been nesting. Uh, she, I think it's a she because she's been nesting around here. She's been hanging out. I feed uh, the birds seeds. Where Isa is, is right behind her. Right next to her is where the... There it is. He popped his head out. I hope you can see it. They are amazing birds. They will kill and eat anything that they feel that they could handle. So if it's a rat, they'll go after a rat. Believe it or not. You see, Issa just chased the bird out. And there it is. And there he goes. But this is what entertains me, you know, seeing these animals in the wild. When I get hawks out here, I've got to watch out for the puppies because they'll lift that puppy up and take them off and or the cat. I can't have that. I keep all that close to me. I, I protect. I'm their protector and they're my protectors. And there go the puppies out there someplace. Okay, that's enough of my uh, rambling. You guys have a blessed day. Remember, you can't change what you see out of your eyes. Nothing that you see in your, in your life, you can't change. You can't change a person. You can't change anything. But you can change the way you handle things. You, not, you might not be happy with the, uh, what you see, how people are. But you do, you can uh, handle the way you address them you don't have to agree with them you just say okay i understand why you think like that i don't i respect your decision i respect your thoughts and then you walk away then you know uh who to keep in your circle and your circle will support you you don't want, it's a, like when my dad, my dad used to say, and here I go rambling again. 
Uh, people judge you by who you hang out with. It's so true. It is so true. They might not, you might not be involved in whatever they're in and you might not think the way they do, but you hang out with them, people start thinking, well, he's one of the crew and he knows uh, they all think alike. No, it's not like that. You know, I'm, I'm a personal, uh, a people person. I like uh, to uh, talk to people. I learn from people. Something that I might not like is because it's a reflection of myself. And then I adjust and I ask God, please, hey, uh, take this uh, imperfection out of me and let me get closer to you. And that's how I work it. And that's how I work my faith. I talk to him like he's, he's one of my boys. You know, uh, it, my prayers are, might be different than your prayers, but I pray for everyone that they find uh, a mutual bond with their higher power. And my higher power is, uh, he's been awesome. He'll continue to be awesome. Guys, <laughs> bye bye because I keep talking.